Russia knew about preparation for terrorist attack at least a month in advance. Ukraine. Russia knew about the preparation of a terrorist attack at the Crocus City Hall shopping center near Moscow for at least a month. But despite this, the Kremlin decided to allow the shooting of its citizens, according to the statement of the head of the defense intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budinov. At least as of February the 15th, 2024, Russia knew about the preparation. I'll tell you more. This information passed through the intelligence group in Syria. That's where it went to Moscow. It's strange how everything materialized, said Budanov. He clarified that the Russians knew where the combat groups would come from and through which countries they would move to Russia. According to Budanov, there are several versions of why the Kremlin allowed the terrorist attack. The first is, as they usually do, towers fighting in Kremlin to now remove several officials. Another option is that they actually underestimated the scale of what would happen. They thought it would be more localized and wanted to blame Ukraine for everything the head of the defense intelligence believes. He reminded that the Russian authorities have already changed the version of what happened near Moscow three times in attempts to blame Ukraine for everything. In particular, there was a version from the head of the Russian Federal Security Service, Alexander Botnikov, who blamed Budanov himself. It's nonsense. By the way, if we touch on this painful issue, even though he's an enemy, I don't approve of terrorist acts against civilians in principle, he added. As Budanov emphasized, Russia sowed chaos itself, hoping to control it. There is such a persistent expression, even truth, it always works among special services. Everyone tries to create controlled chaos. Quite all more or less serious organizations tried to do this at different times. And the axiom is that none of them could make it controlled. The same thing happened here, he noted. The Ukrainian armed forces hit the large landing ship Konstantin Olshi Ukrainian armed forces hit the large landing ship Konstantin Olshinsky with a Neptune missile. Ukrainian Navy spokesperson Dmitro Plitinchuk said this. Currently, this ship is not combat capable, Plitinchuk said on national television. He added that a Ukrainian-made Neptune anti-ship missile was used for this Ukraine, which still controls several hundred kilometers of Black Sea coastline despite Russian occupation of some of its southern regions, does not have any large warships however, it has conducted a series of successful strikes on Russia's Black Sea fleet in recent months using missiles or seaborne drones, there was no immediate comment from Russia. Russia took the Konstantin Olshinsky from Ukraine, along with most of Kiev's navy, when its troops occupied the Crimean Peninsula in 2014. Plitinchuk said, currently, this ship is not combat capable. There was no immediate comment from Russia. Russia took the Konstantin Olshinsky from Ukraine, along with most of Kiev's navy, when its troops occupied the Crimean Peninsula in 2014. Nine years it was dismantled for parts, and a year ago they decided to restore IT. In addition, the Speaker of the Naval Forces of the Ukrainian Armed Forces confirmed the defeat of the ship Ivan Kurs in Crimea. As for the Ivan Kurs, we can confirm the defeat of reconnaissance equipment in the assault part of the ship. That is, in fact, now he is not ready for combat. He cannot carry out the tasks as intended, said Dmitry Plitinchuk. 